Storm Isha is happening now! Breaking news as a winter storm called Storm Isha hits the UK and is damaging properties and blowing out electricity in house. I'm not sure why they named the storm after a salon, but Powerful storm called Storm Isha is forecasted to hit the UK with strong winds and heavy rain. It is the ninth storm since September and is expected to bring winds of up to 80 miles per hour. Have you ever wondered why storms are named the way they are? It's a fascinating process that involves more than just picking a name out of a hat. In fact, it's a system that can spark as much controversy as the storms themselves. Take, for instance, the recent uproar surrounding Storm Isha. The naming of storms follows a specific protocol. The World Meteorological Organization maintains a rotating list of names, which are used in alphabetical order and alternate between male and female. The names are usually common to the region where the storm occurs, and they can be reused every six years. However, if a storm is particularly destructive or deadly, its name is retired out of respect for the victims and their families. But what about Storm Isha? Why was it given a name that also refers to a Muslim prayer? Well, it's important to remember that the choice of names is not religious or political. The intent is to have names that are easily recognizable and memorable to the public to aid in communication and safety efforts. The name Isha is not only a Muslim prayer, but also a common female name in many cultures and languages. That being said, the naming of Storm Isha did spark some controversy. Some questioned whether naming a destructive storm after a prayer was appropriate. Others pointed out that many storms have been named after saints or other religious figures. In summary, Storm Isha got its name not because of any religious connotations, but because it was next on the list of names set out by the World Meteorological Organization. The controversy surrounding its naming serves as a reminder of the complexities involved in choosing names for these powerful weather phenomena. The key takeaway here is that storm names, like Storm Isha, are chosen for their recognizability and memorability, not for any religious or political reasons. So the next time you hear about a storm brewing, you'll know a little more about how it got its name.